Hello everyone, I'm going to reveal this week's matchup of the week. And this video, without further ado, drumroll please. And it is Rick Tatorship versus Big Yawners. I think it's the matchup of the week. I think every other one will be either a blowout or maybe not as good of a matchup as this one. I think Toxic and Scrambled will come close, but I think Scrambled is almost entirely relying on that Dallas defense, to be honest. I think Toxic should get the win, but... Who knows, Toxic's team was very disappointing last week. Either all, I still think Rick Tatorship and Big Yawners is a good fight. Um, now, before we get into it, Rick Tatorship took the loss to Brandon or to Karen's husband. It was actually a big upset. I wasn't expecting that one. Uh, and Big Yawners was able to hold a tight victory against Mr. Steeler. It was a very good matchup. Overall, I think these two were very close in terms of uh, skill overall. Now, back whenever I was doing the rankings for all of them, for quarterback, I actually had Cree ranked at number nine. He has Dak Prescott, he has Jordan Love, and he has Kyler Murray, but Kyler Murray's not really going to be a factor here. Um, Darth was number one with Joe Burrow, Trevor Lawrence, and Jimmy Garoppolo. Trevor Lawrence did good. He did exactly what I was expecting him to do. Joe Burrow played horribly last week, so who knows? Maybe that plays a factor in this game. Maybe he comes back and does it again. I think he will, or does good again. I hope he does, because I hope I'm wrong about him collecting his bag and, you know, kind of just shitting himself. But overall, the QB game definitely is looking in Darth's favor for this matchup. Running backs, I had Cree ranked at 5 and Darth at 6. Now, here's where things get interesting. Even though they were close at the time of me ranking... Uh, making the rankings, um, you actually seen out Kree as Rasheed White and Kenneth Walker, Rasheed Royce, oh, Jesus Christ, Rasheed White, Kenneth Walker, Raheem Mostert, um, Tyler, Algier, Tyler Algier, Jonathan Taylor, and now he has the addition of Joshua Kelly, he lost Deion Jackson since that video was made, um, we'll talk about that in a minute, Darth was actually ranked number 6 right behind Kree. However, since making that video, he actually lost J.K. Dobbins to an injury, so his his running back core is taking a pretty good hit. Not only that, he also cut Antonio Gibson, which I think was a pretty questionable decision. Uh, he might not be good, don't get me wrong. He might just end up getting benched, but I think you cut him way too early. I think he still has a shot to go out there and do good in fantasy. Um, he, overall, you got Aaron Jones. I like him. Gus Edwards. And Justice Hill, I would never start two running backs on the same team. Never, ever, ever, ever. I just don't think it's going to work out too well for you. But good luck. Uh, you also got um, Jerome Ford and Zach Moss. I don't think either of them are going to be startable, so I don't really think they're worth mentioning. Overall, Darth is really looking like he's going to run off with the quarterback game while Cree takes the running back game. Uh, we got wide receivers. Cree was ranked number eight. He has C.D. Lamb, Drake London. Uh, Christian Watson, Traylon Burks, and Marquise Brown, and he also had the addition of Kendrick Bourne uh, for the Patriots, while Darth was ranked number three with Justin Jefferson, Amari Cooper, Jordan Addison, I believe he has Christian Kirk, and Alan Lazard, and Tyler Boyd. Um, before we actually get into how good these receivers are, I just want to talk about one thing regarding the run game. Should Austin Eckler be out this week or any upcoming week for Rick Tatorship here? Joshua Kelly would be a top five wider or top five running back on the spot. I would start him on the spot. I don't think Austin Eckler is as good of a running back as people say. He's known for his catches. Any running back that's getting full snaps for that Chargers team is going to be amazing. You saw it with Melvin Gordon before Eckler took over. Overall, I think you'll come to see it if. Eckler goes out, Kelly will be huge in any upcoming matchups. Now let's get into the receivers. Lamb did okay. It's not his fault or the team's fault that they didn't really need to play much offense, so I don't really see much to worry about there. Drake London didn't score a singular fucking point last week, which, yeah, that's, that's concerning. That's what you get for having Desmond Ritter at QB, I reckon. Um... Christian Watson might be returning from an injury, although he could be out. Uh, Rick Tatorship was missing him last week, but maybe Christian Watson comes back, although Jordan Love looked really good against the Bears. 
Although the Bears are kind of ass, as you all know. But he did look really good for whatever that's worth, so that might give you some browning points there. I don't know if you plan on starting Burks or Brown. Burks didn't do much. Brown was okay with Colt McCoy. I think he'll be pretty good once Murray comes back, but for now I'd keep him on that bench. Kendrick Bourne, I think this is the reason you picked him up. He actually blew up and was one of the top receivers in all of fantasy last week. I don't think anyone was expecting it. I don't think he'll repeat it, to be honest. You know, you might have a solid stash, but I don't think he's going to repeat it. I'd keep him on your bench if I were you. But who knows, I might eat my words on that later. Um, in the tight end game, I had Cree ranked at number two. Oh, I guess i got to talk about the Earth's receivers. You know, I'm just being biased here. I had... He has Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson went out there and did Justin Jefferson things. You know, put up a solid 32 points. I'm surprised he didn't put up a million. Amari Cooper was a bit disappointing, but it was a rain game. There was absolutely no passing game going on on either team, to be honest. So I can't really hold that too far against you. Maybe he comes back and does good again. Addison was a very good uh, player last week. He had 16 points against Tampa Bay. So I think he's actually going to be an upset player. I, I keep telling people I think he'll be like T. Higgins of the Vikings where he's a... Second wide receiver one, although it is a little concerning if you're playing two receivers from the same team, kind of the same issue with the Ravens. Um, Christian Kirk, I think he'll have a bounce back game. I think that was a fluke last week, but it was concerning just how bad he did, but I guess only time can tell. Alan Lazard, I would not trust him with Zach Wilson, as quarterback, Tyler Boyd, his boomer bust. So overall... Uh, that's the receivers you're looking at. I think Big Yawners definitely has the edge in the receiving game. Then we get to tight ends. We have TJ Hawkinson taking on Darren Waller. Um, here's what I'll say here. I think TJ Hawkinson has the upside and is 99 times out of 100 going to be the better tight end. But we are at that 100th time, unfortunately, for rectatorship. In the fact that Arizona just does not have a defense. The defense just does not exist. I expect Darren Waller to go out there and just dunk on everyone. TJ Hawkinson is going up against a tough Philadelphia team. He's not going to be getting many red zone targets, I don't think. Maybe he does, but overall I don't think he'll have nearly as good of a game as Darren Waller just because of how bad that defense is. But it's kind of a coin flip, it's hard to say. Um, I also forgot to mention, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff here, but... Raheem Mostert at running back, I think he'll have a bit of a struggle against New England. New England has a very good defense, and especially their front seven, so I think he'll struggle unless they get him involved with a lot of catches. Um, so overall, I think Darth actually has a little bit of an upset on Cree, even though Cree was ranked number two and Darth was ranked number five for tight end. Coming in at team defense, I actually had... Cree ranked at number two and Darth at number five. Again, actually, that's kind of funny. Um, Darth has Baltimore's defense, who's playing Cincinnati. I don't think he picked up any other options. But here's the thing. When you have a quarterback playing against your defense, it's not a good thing because either your quarterback is going to severely underperform or your defense is going to severely underperform. You have a lot of things that are just count, uh, contradicting each other. I think you're kind of limiting your ceiling here. I think you're bound to go to like 250 and you're going to just kind of stay there by doing this. You have a lot of stuff that's just fighting with each other, if that makes sense. And I'm not a fan of it. Overall, I think Joe Burrow is going to win the battle, though. He'll probably put up a lot of points. I think Baltimore's defense will struggle. Um, overall, then you have Rick Tatership, who has Washington at Denver. I think Denver's offense is going to struggle. They're missing Judy. That O-line is horrible. Um, I think Denver will struggle. Well, let me see who Philadelphia is playing. Oh, yeah, they're playing the Vikings. Yeah, I wouldn't play Philadelphia. The Vikings offense is really, really good. Overall, I think Cree's really taking this matchup this week for the defenses at least. Next, we have the kickers. I don't think these will matter too much, but for what it's worth, I had Darth ranked at 6 and Cree at 8. Um, I actually think I like... Uh, I actually think I like Cree's kicker here a bit more. I think Cincinnati will be scoring a bit of uh, quite a few field goals because Ravens' defense is still pretty solid. I think the Ravens' offense and the Bengals' 
or the Ravens defense and the Bengals offense will collide a lot so the Bengals will get a lot of field goals um I think Jacksonville and Kansas City will just be a shootout touchdown after touchdown to be honest I don't see many field goals being scored but I could be wrong Coming in at number, or coming in at the D-line position, I have Kree at not. he was ranked number nine, Darth was ranked number seven. Um, Kree has Demarcus Lawrence and Dexter Lawrence, Darth has Javon Hargrave and Sam Hubbard. Uh, Javon Hargrave is probably going to eat this week, he's playing against a horrible O-line. Demarcus Lawrence will probably struggle because he's playing against a good O-line. Dexter Lawrence is playing against a shit O-line, while Sam Hubbard is playing against a good one. I give the edge to Darth here quite a bit on this D-line. I'm not a fan of usually having defensive tackles unless he's like an elite one. And Marcus Lawrence has always had a history of being inconsistent. Javon Hargrave has usually been a solid defensive tackle, but the same thing, I don't like defensive tackles. But Hubbard, as you saw with last week, I think he put up like 11 points or something like that. He's one of the more consistent D-linemen you can get in the league. Overall, I think he'll do good. Um, coming in at DB, I had Cree at 3 and Darth at 8. Here's something that could be questionable. I love Petre coming into the year, but it's looking like he might be out for the week. It depends on what these reports are saying. I haven't seen anything yet, but he's questionable at least. He was hurt early in the game. If he's healthy, I have Cree ranked a lot higher. Uh, I'd have him ranked at 3 overall on the list, like I said, but... If Petrie can stay healthy, and it's him and P- Simmons taking on Minka Fitzpatrick and Hamilton, I actually think I have them a lot higher. Minka, I've been saying this to a few people, in the preseason, he wasn't doing much in terms of stats, and I was very concerned with that. I mean, I was like, okay, that's kind of a thing that sucks, but I was like, all right, oh, well, he'll probably do good in the regular season. And then he proceeds to go in, and he just kind of shit himself. I think he only had seven points. He's really not putting up many stats. That's kind of concerning. He used to be like an elite fantasy option, but he just hasn't been doing that. Um, and you do have Hamilton. I think he'll do better than he's projected to do because they did just lose their other safety. But overall, I think Cree still runs off at the DB game. And here's where there's a lot of points that matter with linebackers because you both have four playing. Um, I had Cree ranked at number five and Darth at number four. This is why this is such a tight matchup. Uh, Darth has Eric Kendricks, who I think will get better as the weeks go on with the new system. He, I, he actually did okay last week. I think we get a lot more. You have Levante David, who's questionable, might not play. We'll have to see how that pans out. But if Levo- whoever has Devin White out there, if Levante David doesn't play, Devin White will probably be the number one scoring linebacker in the league this week. But we'll have to wait and see if David's playing. Uh, so he, overall, he's solid. Then there's Leighton Van Der Esch, who I'm not really that much of a fan of in terms of fantasy, but he's okay. And then Wagner's really good. And then you had Lo- you have Logan Wilson, who's usually hit or miss. Darth actually has Devin White, so there's a lot riding on if David's playing or not. Overall, I think David will cancel out White or so if they both play. Then we have Fred Warner, who's really good in terms of fantasy. Let me see how he did last week. 17, yeah, he's usually pretty solid. And I notice you cut Jordan Hicks in exchange for Tim Anderson. I think that'll end up being a good move overall, but I wouldn't have cut Hicks. Hicks can still have a lot of upside. But you did get the addition of Pratt as well, which is something worth mentioning, but I don't know if you're going to end up starting him. Both him and Wilson are usually very boomer bust. Who do I predict wins this? It's very hard to say. I actually think I'm leaning towards Darth, because most of Kree's weapons are playing against really tough teams, like you see with TJ Hawkinson there. Uh, you see with Dak Prescott, CD Lamb against the Jets defense, very good defense that did good against Buffalo. Overall, I think I'm leaning towards Darth here, but I think it'll be the matchup of the week. Good luck, fellas. Let me know who you think's going to win. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and get hyped.